Okay, let's get started with this game. The game is Arabian Nightmare, the Kuwait War, Strategy and Tactics 139. Let's take a quick look at the counters um, and some of the nomenclature on them. In this upper right hand corner, we'll usually find the nationality, in this case, Qatar and United Arab Emirates for UA. We'll see the uh, size of the unit, which is a regiment, and this is a brigade size unit. We see the type of unit, in this case it's an infantry unit, in this case it is a mechanized infantry unit, somewhere there, there we go. Um, some units have an attack, a defense, and a movement allowance. Some units just have a combat strength and a movement allowance. Okay, let's take a quick look at the map and the various train features found on it. Here we have an ocean hex. Here we have a coastal hex. This will be a marsh. Up here would be sand. Um, let's see, we have a, uh, let's see, what's this called? looks like a canal but I'm not sure on the canal um, this would just be your plain river these are like let's see flooded hexide up here I'm not quite sure what this one is uh, I don't see it on the terrain effects chart but uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna call that one looks like a lake to me uh, let's see Excuse me. Here we have a national boundary. This side would be Iran. This side would be Iraq. We also have what are they, roads. And this here I think is a pipeline. There are also tracks, but I don't see one in this picture. And then we have over here, we have rough. And there's mountain. Where would the mountain hexes be? All I see is rough. Mountain looks like a. It's brown and it has a. Well, it's probably over here. Okay, there's a mountain. Move us over here. So, right there, about in the middle of the screen or so, this would be a mountain hex. And over here is an example of a trail hex. There are other features found on the map. Oil wells or oil fields, oil facilities, air bases, um, SAM sites, chemical factories, atomic factories, that type of thing, town cities, but they're all pretty much standard icons and pictographs. So anyway, that's kind of an example of the map. There are char uh, charts and tables on the map got everything from your regular CRT to aerial bombardment, naval gunfire, uh, what we got? electronic warfare, jamming, we also have air superiority determination, air interception. The only thing is, and I can't find it in the rules anywhere, and they're definitely not on the map, but there's no explanation that I can find at the moment for most of these that tell me what these uh, results are so you know we're not going to use them in the introductory game anyway but you know playing the advanced military game and the uh, political game it'd be nice to uh, know what the results are so anyway that's kind of a brief look at the map and we will get started here in just a minute or two okay according to the sequence of play we have phase one where the Iraqi player may move a maximum of 14 units in his turn, including air units. Remember that in the introductory game, Iraqi units move only at half their printed movement value, but they may always move at least one hex, although never into a hex where movement is prohibited. We're going to start up here, um, about central Iraq, I guess it is. We're going to move this unit just to... Uh, get him going and then we'll turn down towards the Kuwaiti border where the uh, 
Iraqi units are poised to invade Kuwait. Um, he has an eight movement point allowance, but it's halved uh, per the special rules in this scenario. Roads cost one, so he'll be able to move four hexes. One, two, three, and I think we'll stay on the road, although... Yeah, because he can't enter this hex because that's one and a half. So, we'll stay on the road for now. Now we'll turn our attention to... The main theater of action. This is down here at the moment. Okay, the units to the right, the yellow ones, are Iraqi units. The two gray looking units in the lower left are Kuwaiti units. So, let's go here. Let's start the invasion, I guess. Sand costs two, roads cost one, trails are one and a half. And with half movement allowances, this is going to take at least two, maybe three turns to uh, do what is necessary to do to um, meet the victory conditions, one of the victory conditions for the capture of uh, Kuwait. So we'll start with this unit. The SAL, I wish I remember what that meant. I'd have to look it up. Well, let's just go ahead and look it up. It is the Saladin Armored Division. It has a movement allowance of five in this game. So that's two, four. That's as far as he can move. And this here, armored unit, is the Hammurabi. The Hammurabi uh, Armored Division. Stacking is two armored divisions for Iraqi units, or one division and several brigades, I don't know which. And for the other players, the allied players, stacking is. Uh, stack up to five brigades or battalions in a hex. There are no allied divisions. And there are no stacking restrictions for helicopters. Um, which will be coming in as reinforcements. So we have What would we have if you went down the road? Yeah, he's not gonna have the movement points. So across the desert he goes two four um, I guess I could do four And that'd be five and a half. That's not gonna work. Okay, Two, four. I think we can move this unit to. Well, no. Two, four. That's not going to get up there either. This unit, which is, sorry, the Al. Uh, what is this unit called? The Al Fall Republican Guard. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, where was he? Is back here. We could go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I guess we can do that with this unit too. One, two, three, four. We'll go one, two. As far as he can move. One, two, three, four. Two, four. Two three and a half and one two three four Let's see about moving him around maybe flanking yes some of the counters are clipped some of them aren't um, that's I'll try to take care of that uh, as the game goes on and I think oops that leaves this uh, Airborne Brigade, which cannot use airborne movement in this game. We'll just move uh, one hex forward. 
and the 310 at the top is going to remain where it is because it does not want to and cannot invade Saudi Arabia at this time until Kuwait uh, is captured. So we'll see what kind of attacks we can make and we'll add air power to it and we'll see what the final differentials will be. Okay, we're now ready for the uh, Iraqi combat phase. The Saladin armored unit is going to attack the two units here in Kuwait. One's an armored brigade and the other is an artillery brigade. Um, both are two so the defense will be a four. So initially it's going to be 13 minus 4 plus 9 on the differential column. However the Iraqis are going to use one of their air units to shift it up one column to plus 12 but the Saudis are going to use two of their air units to knock it back down to a plus four. So <clears throat> the attack will be resolved on the plus four column. Um, five out of six chances will be a defender retreat with a one being a defender eliminated. So the Iraqi is pretty much guaranteed to force the Kuwaiti units back. Die roll is a 5 and that's a DR. So we'll move these. They're actually air units on the bottom, on the other side of them, but since the air, the information doesn't matter for this game, they're just air points. Um, I just flip them over on the back. These units, air units, air points, whatever, cannot be used for the rest of uh, the game turn. Okay, so that was a pretty much bloodless result. The CRT is fairly bloodless unless you get up into the plus 9, 12, 16 um, differentials. Retreat is one hex. We'll stick together, I guess. And uh, I think up to two divisions may advance. I need to check that. Double check that, but anyway. That is the first attack, and I think that will be the only attack that the Iraqis have a chance to make. So, we will then go to phase three, in which the Allied player may move all Saudi, Arab, and Allied units freely inside of Saudi Arabia and the Gulf Arab states. Okay, it's game turn one. We are looking at phase three. The Allied player may move all Saudi, Arab, and Allied units freely inside Saudi Arabia and the Gulf Arab states. So this is a position of the Allied units before movement, and this is a position of Allied units after movement. Next will come the Allied player's combat phase, but I don't think there will be any will be any combat by the allied player on this first turn. So then we will go to both players take their reinforcements, this is phase 5, for that turn and place them on the map where indicated. We'll check victory conditions to see if either player has won, unlikely, and then we will check to see it's not after turn 4 so um, anyway, that's what we'll do there, just bring on reinforcements, basically. Okay, the Allied player gets one infantry brigade from Oman. It can be placed in either Dharan, Ad Daman, or Riyadh. And we're going to put it in Dah, Daharan. Put it here at the air unit, or at the air base, I guess. And then the Allied player gets one more unit. It is an Egyptian unit, which can start in uh, the same places that the Omani Infantry Brigade uh, can set up in. This is an Egyptian para Parachute Brigade. It's a 455. We're going to start it in Riyadh. Kind of boost up the uh, defensive strength there. So with that, that is the end of turn one only 19 more turns to go and with that we will return with turn two